Lately, I've been studying assembly and I have to admit, this has been a game changer in my understanding of code. When you go in deep land, indeed, you appreciate that everything is fake, namely all the high level code is just an abstraction. In deep land, you have data moving around and simple operations, namely simple instructions on the data. Array, pointers, structs, all of this is just a simplification for programmers. Of course, assembly is very tedious. To do something, you have to write many, many lines of code. And nowadays, nobody sane of mind is coding in assembly directly. So why on earth you should be interested in assembly? Well, this is gonna make you a refined thinker. You understand super well what is going on inside your machine. And at the end of the day, to understand really what a computer is. This is not a black box magic able to create artificial intelligence. You just have some numbers moving around. So I would like to make a series of videos in which I talk about assembly very superficially. If you want something more professional, I will leave some links in the description so you can make a university course or something on those lines. Here we just explore these ideas. The ideas that I think are valuable, or at least have been valuable to me. So now we start. You can simply dislike this video, put a bad comment. <laughs> you keep coding in Python and the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. On the contrary, you stay with me. We explore these assembly ideas and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So let's start to do something practical. I have a big boy, which is a Shakespeare text made of many, many lines. And I want to count the number of lines of this file. As you can see here, this file is almost one giga. A big boy. I can simply use the util word count, dash lines, and the actual text, right? And I get exactly the number of lines. But I want to write my program to do that. First of all in Python, then in C, and at the very end in assembly. So we're gonna descend into the habits. <laughs> so how to do that in Python? Let me write a simple piece of code. Vim, let's do word count.py and I can do that in one simple line. Don't worry if you don't know Python, you just have to ponder the overall principles. So first of all, I have to open the text, which is in the same path of my Python program. So I'm gonna call the function open. And I have to pass here the actual name of the file, which is t.txt. All right, so this is a function that is gonna quote unquote, open the actual file. Then I say for a line in that file, okay? What do I want for every line on the file? Well, I want one. So I do one for line in the file. And then I'm gonna put all of this inside races. This is my friend in Python is called generator. Never mind. Basically here is written for every line in the file. Give me one. Then I call the function sum on this generator. And now I have only to print the actual sum of all the lines. So I call the function print. And I'm going to do an F string as it is called in Python. Basically a format string in C. And I write lines equal curly brace here for this generator and boom in one line let's try to launch this so i call the interpreter and i pass word count python enter there is a little mistake here the problem is that i have to change this with one single like that or otherwise there's gonna be a confusion here in the string let's try again and this time you see that the program is running and i get the number of lines and the number is exactly like the word count, right? Beautiful. So Python is one line. One line of code gets me exactly the same result. Let's go to C. So word count.c. Well, here the things in C are more convoluted. I'm going to go very fast. Hopefully you understand what is going on already. Of course, I have to include stdo.h, right, for my input output functions, then the main function, so int main, and then the body of the function. So I have to open the file. To do that, I need a pointer to the file. I can do that in this fashion in C, file, like that. Then I need a variable. I'm gonna use a char to store every char inside the file. 
and then uh, an int which is gonna be a line count basically a line counter all right so now we are ready to open the file so i do file which is a pointer to the file and i say file open the name of the file is t.txt and here i just simply put an r because i want to read this file now we have to do the controls so i say if null equal file you simply print an error for example you call p error you pass null and then you exit with mistake i don't know exit fortune whatever okay from here i assume the file is open so i need a loop so i'm gonna do while i'm gonna continuously stock a char with file get char and pass file right so i'm gonna fetch char by char inside the file until what until i don't stumble upon the end of file and then i have to check if the actual char is equal to the new line char right if this is the case you just do plus plus line count okay then you have to close the file so you do that this is good practice you just print the actual lines so you do lines equal percent d new line line count and we are ready to rumble so this is our c program let me just include here the standard library for the exit and here of course i have to initialize to zero otherwise i will have some junk values all right this is my c program let's try to launch it so run workout.c and again we get the result of course this is not performance wise the best solution but just to make the point so here we have the python solution and the work count solution but at the end of the day we have all the times the same response so all the programs are doing exactly the same thing now it's time for the worst assembly so this my friend is an assembly code implementation of the work count program let's try to compile and launch compile and launch again and boom we get the number of lines of the file so as you can see assembly is very weird and there is a gigantic gap between assembly and python look at that of course assembly is not the final thing indeed the final thing is binary if you want to see the real thing you just do x6d in binary of the actual executable and boom here is the real thing my friend you actually can see the binary what the cpu is really eating assembly is just syntactic sugar for these binaries and nobody sane of mind is writing code in binary it's basically impossible so let's have a conclusion of this first video why do i need to bother about low level land well in the beginning you always want the results so python is perfect one line you get your program running beautiful but at the end what you want is control and there's nothing deeper than assembly so assembly is the highest form of control that you can have as a programmer to get stuff done don't really bother about what is going on underneath the hood stay in python magic land and the world is a beautiful place to understand that your computer is not a magic black box just a super fast boring stupid task performer well just watch the following videos of course we can go also deeper indeed we can go into hardware architecture and for that, I highly suggest you this course, which is From None to Treacheries, Building a Modern Computer from First Principles. This is an amazing course that will teach you everything you need to know about computer architecture. This is very deep stuff, but will give you a thorough understanding of your code. In the videos that I'm going to make, I'll try to minimize the noise to signal ratio. I will try to get a point in every video and I really hope we can learn assembly together in a simple and fun way. Thank you, my friend.